Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building Letty's Dodge Viper SRT10 from the Fast and the Furious 7. Now to create this build I am going to be using the Banshee 900R because there's so much more customization man. <laughs> but as you can see we are in LS Customs because I am in story mode and Benny's isn't part of story mode. So without any further ado guys, let's crack on with this build with 100% body armor. We're going to go to the brakes and get the race brakes for the bumper front bumper. We are going to go with the stock front bumper. For the engine, we are going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Exhaust. We are going to go with these twin carbon cans. The reason we're going to go with these ones is because they fill that gap a little bit more. I was in favor of going with the dual exit exhaust, but as you can see, they're a little bit more puny or small and they're sunken in quite a bit into that bumper and we can't change the rear diffuser on that which is a shame um, so we are going to be going with the twin carbon can then we're going to go to the fenders we are going to go with rivetless rear arches for the hood we are going to stay stock for the hood then we're going to move on to the lights we're going to go headlights and purchase the xeon headlights now for the respray we're going to go primary color and into metallic and we're going to go with carbon black same goes for the secondary color also in metallic and carbon black then we're going to go onto the roof because as you can see my banshee 900 r spawned in without a roof so we're going to have to reattach that roof so stock for that then we're going to go onto the side skirts and i think the low skirts look the best so that's the one we're going to go with for the spoiler we don't need a spoiler because the rear of the car has that natural lip to it anyways so none for the spoiler suspension we're going to go with uh we're going to go street suspension for that tailgate so now we've got a full carbon deck lid and panels which we don't need if we look at the stock tailgate it is very sharp very pointy um we don't necessarily need something as big as that so i think the smoothed rear deck lid is definitely the best option so that's one we're going to go for transmission we're going to get the race transmission and turbo tuner for the wheels we're going to go into wheel type and into sport um i'm in favor of going with the venoms i thought they were a little bit more like what we need but then you could also argue that the organic type zero are very similar to what we need um so the choice is yours either organic type zero or Venom. Have a little look on Google and then decide on what ones you you think suit the car better or which one is more like the one from the Fast and the Furious 7. But for me, I'm going to go with Venom because I think they look better. For the wheel colour, we are going to go with the carbon black. Whilst we're here, we might as well grab the bulletproof tyres because we are in LS after all. And to finish off the build, as always guys, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. So we go homies, as you pull out of LS Customs, you'll see this is Letty's Dodge Viper SRT10 from the Fast and the Furious 7. Now I know it's not a dead ringer, I know it's not identical, but this is GTA after all. It is not a game full of real life cars. <laughs> this is a game full of replica cars, and I'm trying to recreate real life cars with these made up cars. So I think in that respect, it actually looks really, really good. There are some parts of it which obviously don't match the one from Fast, Fast and Furious 7. Like, we don't have any red trim around the wheels, which is glaring and quite disappointing. And we don't get that multiple intake on the hood either, um, which is a shame. And also, we've got a roof scoop. The car in the film does not have a roof scoop. Um, but other than that... We're using the Banshee 900R, which is based loosely around a Dodge Viper, uh, older generation Dodge Viper at that. Um, but I still think it works pretty well. The wheels are good, the body shape's good. Um, other than the few things I did mention, like the, you know, not having the right intakes on the hood, having a roof scoop when we don't need one, and also the red trim around the wheels. Other than that, it looks pretty good, man, and I'm happy. Um, with it and i'm happy to show this to you guys and hopefully um this is the sort of video you're looking for and how to create all the cars from fast and furious um so if this one did help you out smash the like button if you haven't already why not subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys i'm out adios